best. This is Firuze from Florida in the US. I was just wondering if Mr. Kesh would kindly uh, elaborate very briefly uh, whether we can uh, mix uh, the Ormus or the seawater with caustic with copper GANs to fortify the GANs. I don't know what the Ormus is. Go and find out what it is about the GANs. You can mix the GANs with any water. Well, I've asked this question many times and they've been telling me that when you mix seawater and caustic, it's called Ormus. So I, I was under the impression that you could make GANs from seawater and caustic. You can, you can make a GANs out of, with, with seawater, not out of seawater. You have to understand what you call a seawater is mixture of every element on this planet. When you speak about the seawater and you add a caustic to it, it creates a kind of gans from the atomic uh, elements which are in it. If you create a high heat and you get this water from the sea, you, to you it's clear water, but as I've said before, there is more atomic structure, molecular structure of like gold, platinum and everything else in the seawater. You don't see it, but it's part of it. So when you add the hot caustic to it, if there are any of these elements, you create a nano and then immediately because of the presence of salt, a uh, gans of the material. You got to, um, if you understand it logically, can we have our board back please? <clears throat> it's, you have to, it's a natural process, we all know, when you have the rivers across the countries, you have all the rain or whatever, they wash every mineral on this planet into the ocean. If they come from Africa, they bring different minerals. If they come from Asia, different minerals. And our waters travel around this planet. So our waters are one of the richest resources of minerals man ever known. But because we don't have the technology how to extract it, we don't see it. So when you add hostic, uh, hot caustic to the seawater, those elements, it's exactly like what you do with your copper plate. With your copper plate, you add uh, the um, caustic and what you do, you nano size. In, uh, in the sea, the nano particles are already inside. All you do, you just automatically bring guns. What you see at the bottom, <coughs> is the gas of the nanoparticles or before that atomic molecular structure of the metals and the elements which are floating in the water. It should not be a surprise. So you automatically achieve GANs if you do it and you don't make GANs of every element because some of these elements melting point even at atomic structure, molecular structure is much higher than what the caustic can create. So this question in Kepsler getting asked, yes, you produce GANs from the materials which are floating. To you, you can't see, 